She has actually stopped her holiday. <laughs> and she did because here she is. It's Elizabeth it? Starogood. <laughs> Hello, how are you? It must be time for afternoon <laughs> school. <Yeah. laughs> Hello, I'm Julia. Hi, hi. How Very are nice you? Oh, look, a delight. Very Please well. sit down on the desks that you know so well. This is amazingly spooky. <laughs> it, is it? Why is it spooky? Well, not it? only have you chosen the classroom that Alan and I worked in, did you know that? Yeah, I <laughs> thought it was. This was I came room. in and thought, this is it. Yeah, this is it. What's your memory of Alan when he was little, when you first met him? That was amazing. He was very entertaining. Did you write something? You'll have to correct me if this is wrong. Did you write something about mimicking me? Did you used to mimic me when I was out yeah, in the room? Yeah. No, when you were in the when room. When I was in the room. <laughs> This room. This, look at it. In it's loaded. So you're in this room. And this I room. She's trying to do a job. With a blackboard here on an easel and chalk. Can oh, you imagine? real chalk. And Alan somewhere at a desk. And I remember my desk was over there by the window. And you're having a go. You're well, I, what I would do, I mean, I, plainly it was attention-seeking now with hindsight, but I would repeat everything that Mrs. Thurgood had said. Oh, my God. How annoying. <laughs> and then one time he'd written a lot of stuff on the board, and when you went out of the room, I got the board rubber and wiped the bottom bit of it all. Yeah. And you came back and said, who's done that? And, you, and the whole class, class just looked at me. <laughs> Guess <laughs> who? <laughs> me. Now, now I've got you. So yeah. then I remember keeping you back when everyone went to assembly. Yeah, you did. I had to talk to you. Yeah, so you took him aside. You, you obviously sensed there was something troubling this kid. You know, he'd had a terrible thing happen to him, losing his mum, but... Did you, you know about that? Well, I did, and I don't know if you know this, but the empathy was probably so great because my father died at exactly the same age for me. Oh, I uh, as I went that. into year three, which was the same as you going into year three, my father died. Is that and right? And so I, when I was told that, yes, because the previous teacher saw me, and when I was told that, I mean, I just could identify with it straight away. Mm. When I was oh, seven, interesting. I, I lost my father. That. Because no-one ever talked about no. my and mother I, dying in front of and me. And I've been so interested to hear you say that, because mm. it was the same with me. Photographs were taken away, and no-one really talked, no counselling in those days at all. <laughs> It's important, isn't it, as a teacher to kind of look out for kids and kind of find the ones that are kind of a little bit loose, off with the fairies, and you've got to kind of... Well, I've always done that. You never, ever forget, give up or ignore a child. You find the best in everyone. Isn't that what most people do when they teach? No, Maybe they not. don't. Yeah. Maybe not. No, no, we loved you. You were great. <laughs> and, you know, I thrived in this classroom, and, but so did everybody else. Yes, She's yeah. a very good teacher. She's a very good and, teacher. And it was fun in the classroom. Yes. And that was what, when I got taken away from here and sent to Bancroft, it was just, there was no fun to be had.